This video showcases my shed and some of the issues with building it under a deck. I knew I wanted a shed when I designed my deck, so I minimized the number of posts to optimize space underneath. You can download a 3D Google SketchUp model of my deck and shed at panafish.net. The walls are completely unattached to the deck, with a one inch gap hidden by an overlapping skirt board. This gap is important since the floor will heave in winter. Ice can lift 10 to 20 tons per square inch. An elephant weighs 8 tons. Even though the moisture is mixed with soil, it will still have no problem lifting the shed and destroying the deck. Designing my shed walls and doors to account for slope was tricky. The doors are hobbit doors and I have to duck my head like Gandalf, but once I'm inside, I can stand up without hitting my head. Fantastic usable space, with plenty of room left over to store my motorcycle in winter. I found the same vinyl siding that was used on my house to use on the shed exterior. Here you can see where the water flows out between the deck boards. I plan on installing a small gutter here someday. To seal the aluminum flashing, I used a brand of caulk called NPC Solar Seal. That stuff is the best, just ask anyone who's used it. I used screws instead of nails on my deck boards. That way I could remove them when I did the roof flashing. I chose a concrete floor instead of wood. If you choose concrete too, make sure you use a concrete sealer to seal out moisture. Here's how I dealt with my basement sump pump pipe. I drilled a hole through the deck ledger board to run my electricity. The basement electrical panel is just behind that wall. I drilled holes into the concrete and used industrial epoxy to set the bolts and secure the walls to the floor. I used pressure treated lumber for the bottom of the wall and a sheet of foam underneath to prevent moisture from wicking into the boards. The deck posts and beam are large screwed and glued planks and yes, they were very heavy to install. You can see here where I marked the amount the concrete heaved that first winter. The first stage of building my shed was to build a roof between the deck joists. I designed an angled trough system with curved sheets of aluminum flashing. This was an incredibly tedious process, but worth it because it maximized my headroom. The gap between the shed and the deck is filled with strips of seat cushion foam. It works quite well. It's been seven years and not a single drop of water has made it into the shed. Although worms do like to crawl into the door during heavy rain onto the concrete. motion activated light is nice when I need to go to the shed during the night time. And this overhang helps protect the doors from the rain. I love these magnetic catches. They hold the doors securely in strong wind, but they're still easy to open and close. I got them from LeeValley.com. I coated my custom doors with four to five coats of Epiphanes varnish. My trailer lift project may have been my most gratifying, but my shed has been the most useful. Check out more of my projects and videos at panofish.net.